If you could travel back in time to the 1950s and show someone in your hometown street your mobile phone, they would be both fascinated and terrified. The mere existence of such technology would blow their minds. You'd think that this time-traveling trick could only work one way, but we occasionally come across ancient technology that blows our minds here in the modern day. We're going to show you some right now. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this, and be sure to watch this video to the end. Therefore, anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified so that you won't miss out on interesting videos from us. Without further ado, let's get started. Africa Technology in Africa dates back to the origins of the human species, to the first evidence of tool use by hominid ancestors in the areas of Africa where humans are thought to have evolved. Africa saw the development of some of the earliest ironworking technology in what is now Niger's Air Mountains region, as well as the construction of some of the world's oldest monuments, pyramids, and towers in Egypt, Nubia, and North Africa. Glazed quartzite and brick construction were more developed in Nubia and ancient Kush than in Egypt. The Haya people of Tanzania created the world's oldest carbon steel with high-temperature blast furnaces on parts of the East African Swahili coast. Mesopotamia The Mesopotamians were among the world's first to enter the Bronze Age. Initially, they used copper, bronze, and gold, and later, iron. Hundreds of kilograms of these extremely valuable metals were used to decorate palaces. Copper, bronze, and iron were also used for armor and weapons, such as swords, daggers, spears, and maces. The Sumerians' invention of writing was perhaps the most significant Mesopotamian advance. The invention of writing resulted in the first recorded laws, known as the Code of Hammurabi, as well as the first major work of literature, known as the Epic of Gilgamesh. Mesopotamia was the birthplace of several of the six classic simple machines. The wheel is said to have been invented by the Mesopotamians. The wheel and axle mechanism first appeared with the invention of the potter's wheel in Mesopotamia during the 5th millennium BC. During the early 4th millennium BC, this resulted in the invention of the wheeled vehicle in Mesopotamia. The lever was used in the first crane machine, the Shadoof water lifting device, which appeared in Mesopotamia around 3000 BC, and then in ancient Egyptian technology around 2000 BC. The first pulleys were discovered in Mesopotamia in the early 2nd millennium BC. During the Neo-Assyrian period, 911 to 609 BC, the screw, the last of the simple machines to be invented, first appeared in Mesopotamia. According to Assyriologist Stephanie Daly, the first pump was the screw pump, which was used in the 7th century BCE by Sennacherib, king of Assyria, for the water systems at the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and Nineveh. The Mesopotamians made numerous technological advances. They invented the potter's wheel to make better pottery, irrigation to get water to their crops, bronze metal, and later iron metal, to make strong tools and weapons, and looms to weave wool cloth. China Significant advances in science, technology, mathematics, and astronomy can be found in China's history of science and technology. China made the first recorded observations of comets, solar eclipses, and supernova. Acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine, and herbal medicine were also practiced. The compass, gunpowder, papermaking, and printing were among the most significant technological advances, only known in Europe by the end of the Middle Ages. The Chinese, according to Scottish researcher Joseph Needham, made many first known discoveries and developments. Early seismological detectors, matches, paper, the double action piston pump, cast iron, the iron plow, the multitude seed drill, the suspension bridge, natural gases fuel, the magnetic compass, the raised relief map, the propeller, the crossbow, the south pointing chariot, and gunpowder are all major technological contributions from China. According to Joseph Needham's research, other Chinese discoveries and inventions from the medieval period include block printing and movable type, phosphorescent paint, and the spinning wheel. Nearly 200 years after the invention of black powder, which served as the rocket's fuel, the solid fuel rocket was invented in China around 1150 AD, at the same time that the West was experiencing an age of exploration. 
the Chinese emperors of the Ming Dynasty sent ships, some of which made it to Africa. However, the enterprises were not further funded, putting an end to further exploration and development. When Ferdinand Magellan's ships arrived in Brunei in 1521, they discovered a prosperous city fortified by Chinese engineers and protected by a breakwater. According to Antonio Picafetta, much of Brunei's technology was comparable to Western technology at the time. Furthermore, Brunei had more cannons than Magellan's ships, and Chinese merchants to the Brunei court had sold them spectacles and porcelain, both of which were rare in Europe. Roman Empire Over nearly a thousand years, Roman technology supported Roman civilization and enabled the expansion of Roman commerce and military power. The Roman Empire had advanced technology for its time. Some Roman technology may have been lost in Europe during the turbulent eras of late antiquity and the early Middle Ages. Roman technological achievements in many fields, including civil engineering, construction materials, transportation technology, and some inventions such as the mechanical reaper, were unparalleled until the 19th century. The Romans developed intensive and sophisticated agriculture, advanced stone masonry technology, advanced road building, exceeded only in the 19th century, military engineering, civil engineering, spinning, and weaving, and several different machines, such as the Gallic Reaper, that helped to increase productivity in many sectors of the Roman economy. They also developed water power by building massive aqueducts and using water not only for drinking, but also for irrigation, powering water mills and mining. In deep underground mines, drainage wheels were widely used, with one device being the reverse overshot water wheel. They were the first to use hydraulic mining methods to prospect for metal ores and extract those ores from the ground using a technique known as hushing. Cement, boat mills, arch dams, and possibly tide mills are among the lesser-known Roman innovations. Heron of Alexandria invented the Aolipau, a basic steam power device, and demonstrated knowledge of mechanic and pneumatic systems in Roman Egypt. He was also the first to try out a wind-powered mechanical device known as a wind wheel. He also talked about a vending machine. His inventions, however, were primarily toys rather than practical machines. Mesoamerica and Andean region The ancient civilizations of the Americas did not develop wheel transport or the mechanics associated with animal power because they lacked suitable beasts of burden and lived in domains that were frequently too mountainous or boggy for wheel transport. Nonetheless, they created advanced engineering, such as above-ground and underground aqueducts, earthquake-resistant masonry, artificial lakes, dikes, fountains, pressurized water, roadways, and complex terracing. Similarly, gold working began in Peru, 2000 BCE, and copper, tin, lead, and bronze were eventually used. Although metallurgy did not reach Mesoamerica until the Middle Ages, it was used for sophisticated alloys and gilding here and in the Andes. Native Americans developed a complex understanding of the chemical properties or utility of natural substances, resulting in the production of the majority of the world's early medicinal drugs and edible crops, as well as many important adhesives, paints, fibers, plasters, and other useful items. Rubber, perhaps the most well-known Mesoamerican invention, was used to make rubber bands, rubber bindings, balls, syringes, raincoats, boots, and waterproof insulation on containers and flasks. The Hellenistic Mediterranean Hellenistic technology advanced significantly beginning in the 4th century BC and continuing through the Roman period. The ancient Greeks are credited with the following inventions, bronze casting techniques, water organs, hydraulis, and the torsion siege engine. Many of these inventions occurred late in the Hellenistic period and were often motivated by the need to improve military weapons and tactics. The Hellenistic engineers of the Eastern Mediterranean were responsible for several inventions and technological advancements. Archimedes invented several machines. Scientific research and the development of new technologies were frequently combined by Hellenistic engineers. Hellenistic engineers invented technologies such as the ballista, the piston pump, and primitive analog computers, such as the Antikythera mechanism. Hellenistic architects were the first to investigate the golden ratio and its relationship to geometry and architecture. 
torsion catapults, pneumatic catapults, crossbows, runways, organs, the keyboard mechanism, differential gears, showers, dry docks, diving bells, odometers, and astrolabes are among the other Hellenistic innovations. Hellenistic engineers built monumental lighthouses like the Theros and invented central heating systems. The Tunnel of Eupolinos is the first tunnel to have been excavated scientifically from both ends. Hellenistic engineers such as Tisibius and Philo of Byzantium created automata such as automatic doors and other ingenious devices. Later Byzantine, Arabic, and Latin scholars meticulously studied and advanced Greek technological treatises, laying the groundwork for further technological advances in these civilizations. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on another wonderful video from us. Till next time.